हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ दीपक पवार आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू वीके नोट चैनल यू ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टुडे वील सी द पार्ट थर्ड ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट इज मैक्रोज दिस टॉपिक वील सी विथ द हेल्प ऑफ सम प्रीवियस यूनिवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन विच वी आर आज फॉर इन सेम एज वेल एज द इन सेम एग्जाम सो वील स्टार्ट विथ द टॉपिक मैक्रोज The first question is explain the terms macro definition, macro call, nested macro calls. This question was asked for six marks in NSEM exam of May 2018. The marking scheme for this question was given two marks for every part. That is for macro definition two marks, for macro call two marks, and for nested macro calls two marks. So we'll start with this. the first one is nothing but we'll go for the macro definition so macro is a unit of specification which is used for program generation through the expansion the another definition of macro it is called as a single line abbreviation for the group of the instructions while defining the macro we can either define the macro at the start of a program or we can define that macro at the end of the program now we'll see the syntax of macro definition so the macro definition it contain the first line which is nothing but the keyword macro which is also called as a macro header after that on the next line we have the macro prototype statement which is nothing but the simply a macro name and if you are passing some of the parameters which we are calling as a formal parameter if you are passing the parameter this every parameter it should start with the ampersand sign and if if you have more than one parameter this parameter is separated by the commas after a second line the next part start that is called as a model statement these are we may have one or more than the simple assembly instructions this part is very important while expanding the macros the model statements are starting from the second line till the amend statement so these are the nothing but the model statements available inside the macro definition after that we have the macro preprocessor statements this part is a optional one and used very rarely while defining the macros and every macro definition is going to end with the keyword m end so this is about the definition of the macro now we'll see the macro call so when we are calling a macro the macro is always called with the name of the macro that is the macro name and while defining the macro if you are using some of the formal parameters then at the time of calling the macros this formal parameter must get replaced with the actual parameters of your main program so now we will see the definition of the we will see the example of definition and the calling of a macro so inside this slide you can see that the first line is a start of the definition where we are going to write the keyword macro on the next line which is called as a macro prototype we are going to write the name of the macro here i have given the name as a my macro i have not written anything after that it means i am not going to pass any formal parameter for this macro next that after that we are going to write certain model statement which are simply assembly language instruction here i have written two model statements and at the end my macro is going to end with the keyword m end so this is the definition of macro inside a source program i already told you that we can write this definition at the start of your program so i have written here and after that i made the call of this macro which is having a name as a my macro i have not pass any formal parameter so there is no need to pass any actual parameters so basically this is taken as a input to by your macro processor and it will generate the expansion of macro the expansion it only contains the instructions or the model statements available inside your macro as i call this macro three times it is get expanded for three times so this is a simple example of a macro we'll see one more example where basically i am going to pass certain formal parameters basically i assume for this macro that it is going to perform the operation where it will take the contents from memory location then it will increment that content with the, some value and again at the last it will 
store the content inside the memory location so we'll see the example of that so first the first line itself it is the macro keyword next i am going to write the macro prototype so here i have given the name for my macro as incr i already told you that when we are passing the formal parameters every parameter is separated by comma as well as every parameter it is starting with the and percent sign so here i am passing total three parameters first parameter is a mem which is nothing but the memory location next parameter is a value val which is nothing but the value of the memory which i want to increment by with val which value and third one is r which is nothing but the register available inside your program next after that i have written three model statements so while writing these three model statements i have used the formal parameters and lastly my macro definition is going to end with the m end this is the definition of macro where we are passing the formal parameters as we are passing the formal parameters while calling the macro we have to take care of the actual parameters so we'll see the calling of this macro which is having a name as incr so incr is a name of my macro while calling i have to use the name of the macro after that i have to use the actual parameter so a b and a reg these are the three parameters which i am using while defining the macro i use the three formal parameter mem val and r and while calling that i am using the parameter a b a reg it simply means that my a value it will go on the memory mem my b value it will go on the val and my a reg it is treated as a r so in this way this is the actual parameter which will go inside your formal parameters and while expanding the macro we are dealing with the actual parameters not the formal parameters so we'll see the example later on now we'll see the next part that is the nesting of the macros so <coughs> a model statement inside a macro if it calls another macro that is called as a nesting of macro so we'll see the example here i have the first macro which is having a name as a calculate this calculate macro it is having its model statement inside the model statement we can see that this is the another macro which i called the name of that macro is incr which we already covered in the last slide so i am passing this three actual parameter a parameter b and parameter c reg so this is the definition of your macro incr which we already covered in the last slide this is the macro keyword next incr is the name of the macro these are the parameter which we are passing and these are the model statement and this definition is going to end with the m end so the expansion of this incr what we are doing basically we are simply expanding we are replacing the formal parameters with the actual parameter so this is the exam expansion of your macro incr now we'll see the expansion of macro calculate so calculate it contain this as a first instruction so that i have written here for incr we are going to generate total three instructions which are written here and at the last this macro it is going to end with the this muem cre comma lock location so total five instructions are going to replace inside the calling of your calculate so in this way when one macro calls the another macro it is termed as a nesting of the macro so this is the answer of that question thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more such videos please like and share this video with your friends also refer my website wikinote.org follow us on our facebook page wikinote foundation The links for the same are provided in the description box below.